Welcome back, everybody! Oh boy, today be the day that we might just be going to Rena now, finally. <coughs> I'll be perfectly honest, I, for the longest time, was kind of getting a little confused, thinking that, like, oh, you know, Lenigus is the Renan homeworld, but, like, I guess there is actually a separate Rena. I don't know why, I was, I was getting really confused with stuff. I mean, now that we're actually here, now it makes a little more sense, like, okay, this is a separate place from the Renan homeworld. But, for whatever reason, all the Renans live here, so isn't this technically really the Renan homeworld? I mean, I feel like we've been misled this entire time, but, I don't know. They didn't really talk about it too much, so I didn't really know too much about it. It didn't make a lot of sense. I was like, what? Huh? Oh, Lenigus. Oh, okay, so the Renan homeworld's called Lenigus. Oh, I get it now. But no, the Renan homeworld's just called Rena. <laughs> Dan homeworld's called Dana. Rena, blah, 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 blah. I was just making myself confused for no reason at all, but that's okay. Anyway, but anyway, today we're going to our ship, and probably wondering why I didn't just start out the episode in front of the ship. It's because I didn't know if we were going to run any cutscenes in between here and there, so I just kind of figured, you know, we'll start it up, we'll run back, and if we run anything good, if not, then you know, anyway, we'll just talk about stuff and thinking about things like, oh my gosh, like, wait, what's down there? Could I go down there? I wonder. No, probably not. Kind of looks like something you could go down to, though. Alright, shouldn't be much further now. Just gotta go in here, and I believe that's literally where we gotta go. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, that's a nice angle. I don't even know if I've looked at it from this point of view before. It looks so cool, man. It looks so cool. Alright, it's time. I would still like to go back to Dana, though. Now what's the I plan? we'd find answers on Lenigus, but we just ended up finding more questions. You can say that again. And now we have more problems to fix, too. Like figuring out how to reform Lenigus. That can wait for now. We've got more than enough on our plates to deal with as it is. Like figuring out who's really running the show on Rena. Yeah. Which is why we're going to the Renan homeworld. All the answers we've been looking for are on that planet. The person responsible for all this. The Red Woman and the Renis Alma. The answers have to be there. Are we prepared to finally find them? Nah. So, what do we do first when we get there? We know nothing about the Renan homeworld or what we might face once we arrive. We should get a feel for how things are on the ground before we take any serious steps. It's also entirely possible that the first thing we're going to face is an attack. If we come across a capital, we should... Ah! Ah! Hmm? What? Oh, hi there. She was watching us. Watching the entire time. Well, now what? What is this nonsense, huh? Oh, okay. So she teleported us somewhere. Far, far away. All right. Well, that that was that was cool. That was nice. <coughs> now what? They interrupted our Damn. conversation too. The hell just happened? Our course has been altered. The coordinates are pointing to a different destination. What's that? The ship's controls aren't accepting my commands. The engine is being shut down. That's bad, right? So we're stuck in space. Cool. Quite bad. We've lost control of the ship. Is all of this the Red Women's doing? Are they trying to finish us off before we can land? <laughs> Everyone, look there. <sighs> Giant space worm?
Oh, so we're not that far away still, are we? So they can still see this. been hollowed out then, or...? <coughs> I'm confused. Oh, hey! Powering it up again! Let's go! Drain all of Dana's energy! Drain it all! Drain it now! Ay ay ay. This seems fun. What the heck is that? It's like a flower blooming almost. Kinda looks like one. Things just get more and more confusing by the minute. A flower blooming out of Retta? But that flower looks like it's absorbing all of Dennis's energy. And it appears Lenigus is serving as a conduit for that energy to reach here. Could that have been its true purpose all along? If that's true, do you think the people back on Lenigus are all right? We can only pray that they are. Damn it. Haven't they taken enough already? When is this going to end? The Flower of Oblivion. With everything that's happening, we need to get back to Lenigus. Is the ship still offline? Unfortunately, yes. Even more so than when it laid dormant. Can you fix it? Starships are extremely complex machines. One wrong move while we're out here in space could very well cost us our lives. So what? We're just stuck inside here floating around? For how long? <laughs> I don't believe this. We've made it all this way, and now we're stuck here? Yep. We're watching Dana die before our eyes, and we have no choice but to sit here and starve to death? Law, calm down. You're not the only one who's worried here. Right. Sorry. It's still too early to give up. There has to be a way to get out of this. Alfin. Ah! Whoa. Now what? The starship, it... it's back online? No, this is different. Something is pulling our ship in towards it. Is it Rena? We gotta be in trouble now! What, that thing? What is that thing? Pull us in more. Pull us in more. Do it. Do it. We managed to get moving, but where are we? It looks like Lenigus in here. Do you think we might run into more Renans here? Or those red women? Perhaps. Someone brought us here. The question is, who? We haven't been ambushed. So that probably means they aren't hostile. Still, why would anyone want to bring us here? Uh, hey, Shion! If they wanted to attack us, they could have done so while we were back on the starship. We should see where this path takes us. Seems like a good call anyway. Out of reach. Oh no. 
Question mark, question mark, question mark, huh? Ah, uh, Shion, just in the nick of time. Here, lend me a hand while I... No! What the... Oh, right. The thorns. <laughs> My bad. No, I'm the one who should apologize. I overreacted. Again, La? Can't you even go a minute without putting your foot in your mouth? How forget about the Seriously, thorns anyway. It's fine. I'd rather that than people feeling like they're walking on eggshells around me. Besides, I'm the one who should be vigilant about not touching you guys, not the other way around. Actually, I've been meaning to ask. Not being able to touch people. Does it ever get lonely sometimes? I guess I never really thought about it in those terms. It was either accept it for what it was or come undone. Before long, it was just part of my everyday reality. I think I even forgot there was another way to live. Which isn't to say I didn't feel alone. I did. Always. So numb to your reality, you couldn't even recognize it as loneliness? I don't know how you managed. It's fine. I know I'm not alone anymore. But I can't even touch you. No way of lending you a shoulder when you're down. Even Alfin. I appreciate the concern. Until I get rid of these thorns, I guess I'll have to put up with it just a little longer. But not forever. Alfin promised me that. Maybe it'll be soon, maybe it won't be. But either way, the day will come. And I'll be ready when it does. Yeah, just hang in there. One day, we'll share a big warm hug. You'll see. I promise. Yeah, big hugs are always nice. Lightening the mood. <laughs> Hi! Ah, what the? Are you out of your mind? This isn't the time for games, Rinwell. Oh, come on. How am I supposed to resist with you looking all jittery like that? It's called experiencing feelings appropriate to the situation. You ought to try it sometime. Yeah, but seeing you act all nervous, you're making me start to feel nervous, too. Woo! Uh, oh, sorry. Staying alert is important, but too much caution can cloud your judgment. Try to strike a balance. Thanks for the friendly advice there, Kisara. I don't know what we'd do without you. I still can't get over what we saw happening outside the starship. Yeah... Our planet's really not doing too hot right about now. I've only ever seen Rena from the surface of Dana, so I figured it was just another round planet like ours. Still, though, I never would have imagined Rena actually looked like that. And what's the deal with that giant flower coming out of it? I know, right? It's me. I have absolutely no clue. It's so surreal. It looks like a broken egg or something. Rena and Dana. We were taught that both worlds were spherical bodies that floated amongst the stars in the heavens. But to think that they lied to us not only about the Sovereign and the Crown Contest, but also the form of our own planet. Dohalim. Okay, who's the wise guy that summoned us here? Someone formidable enough to bring our starship along with us. They must be here somewhere. Let's find them. But we must keep calm, of course, too. It does make you wonder a lot of things. I mean, what the heck is even going on here? That beam of light joining Dana and Rena. It was the Renan side that it first came from, right? That's what it looked like. And then the Danan side responded. Perhaps it was some kind of directive from the Renan homeworld? To reawaken the Wedge and Lenigus? Which would mean that whoever's behind all this is on Rena after all. But what are they after? Is it really worth going through all this trouble just to steal Dana's energy? Try to stay calm. With so many factors we don't understand, dwelling on it won't get us anywhere. <sighs> what is it? No, it's just... Zephyr once told me the same thing. So much for me making progress, huh? You made it this far, didn't you? You notice something, you change it. That's all anyone can do. But you can't stand still in the meantime. True, true, true. You cannot do that or else it'll be bad. Multiple levels? Oh, flip. Where are we at right now? 
<coughs> um, upper level floor isn't accessible. Central floor is accessible. What about the what about the lower floor? Oh, this is where we have to go, go, huh? Ah, okay, okay. So none of the floors are accessible. I guess that makes sense. Just want to explore around this room a little bit first and see what's going on there. Not gonna lie, that purple thing I almost thought looked like a Metroid for a second there. Almost. Very similar. Kind of. Not really. I'm kidding. Or am I? I don't know. What is that? Wait, is this the... Is this the life pod that Martel's staying in? Kind of looks like it. This place looks a lot like that room we saw back in the Forbidden Zone. Huh? What's that? I say Martel, no, Colette was in the uh, pod like that. It's one of those! A red woman in disguise. Or is this their true form? So it was a trap? You don't want us to fight, you better say something. It doesn't look like it can move. Tell me, are you the one who brought us here? That is correct. It is unusual for me to have unexpected guests these days. It can talk. What are you? Hevrecht 35. Hevrecht 35? Is that your name? Correct. What is this place? No, wait, before that, just what exactly are you? Are you somehow associated with the Red Women? Before I answer, I have a question for you. How did you all arrive in this sector? We did not come to this place by choice. Our ship was brought here against our will, by a group of red women who can shift into the same form as you. In that case, we can assume my brethren who serve the Great Spirit have deemed you all to be a threat most grave. What do you mean, serve? Are you saying there really is someone more powerful than the red women, pulling their strings? What did you do to us? I examined your bodies. You have not been harmed in any way. Identifiers detected. The Sovereign and Maiden are among you. However, you aren't under its control. I see why they viewed you as a danger now. Hmm? Oh goody, more riddles. Do you think we can trust this thing? Like it or not. It may be our best chance at a ticket out of here. Let's at least hear it out. I shall now answer your questions. We are Helganquil. The red women you encountered previously are a form of disguise we employ from time to time, but not our true form. Helganquil? You are on Dake Faisal, a celestial base which drifted here by accident. The will of Rena's great spirit no longer reaches us here. Since my sudden separation from the great spirit's influence, I have used any and all means to extend my lifespan. As I have done so, I have also set out to monitor and research Rena and Dana from this position. A question. What is this great spirit of which you speak? Is it something that rules over your kind? Correct. The Great Astral Spirit is a large mass of astral energy that fills all of Rena, one with its own will, a voice we cannot refuse. A voice? Just like Dana. The voice of the Great Spirit speaks to our hearts directly, and we have served it without question throughout the ages. Ah, oh, yes, good. Does that mean it was controlling your minds? Wait a second. Could this great spirit be the true sovereign of Rena? The true ruler of Rena? 
It could be the same thing that's controlling Volron. Wait, back up. You're telling us this great spirit of yours is the one that ordered you things to harvest the astral energy from Dana? I'm not sure I believe that. Why not? We've already made contact with the will of Dana back in the Wedge, and in the Forbidden Zone on Lenigus. If Dana has a will of its own, I don't see why Rena wouldn't. Maybe not, but think about what you're saying. If Dana has a will like Rena, then that would mean that we've been controlled by the voice of Dana this whole time, just like these things. Dana's will hasn't been forcing us to do anything. Yeah, but... What Let's if assume Dana's that what Hebrex 35 that right claims now. is true, and that we are indeed cut off from both planets. Even if we had previously been under the control of Dana's will, we would have noticed now that we are disconnected. Your fear is not based in logic. The voice of Dana is much smaller and quieter compared to that of Rena's great spirit. Rena's astral energy is amassed at its center, whereas Dana's is shared among all its constituents. So thinly is that energy spread that it cannot coalesce and formulate a will. Our findings here indicate as much. Which explains why we felt its will where we did. The Wedge and Lenigus are where so much of that energy had been accumulated. The Great Spirit's desire is to consume all astral energy. And the pursuit of that desire is why you see Rena in its current state. As a result, it has turned its attention toward Dana. Is that why the Crown Contest is necessary? So that the Great Spirit can feed off of Dana? Indeed. And it was to that end that we Helganquil devised the Crown Contest. Had the initial spirit channeling from 300 years ago succeeded, all of Dana's astral energy would have been seized. Oh. <sighs> but the ceremony failed. Lenigus was severely damaged, and you lost both the Sovereign and the Renesalma. Correct. A change in plan was required to ensure the spirit channeling success. However, Recreating the Renes Alma required a vast amount of energy. That is why we turned to Dana. So that was the real purpose behind the Crown Contest. An efficient means to harvest the necessary energy from Dana. This is all happening because of me. Nevertheless, you still haven't answered one of Alfin's original questions. Just why have you brought us here to your base, Hevrecht 35? First, it was to confirm the identities of you, my unexpected visitors. Second, it was to ascertain whether you would be likely to accept my request. A request? But what could someone like you want us to... I wish for you all to slay the Great Spirit. I'm sorry, did you just ask us to kill your master? Mm-hmm. I did. It is in your best interest that you do so, I might add. What makes you say that? Lenigus has entered the final stage of the spirit channeling plan. As we speak, Dana's energy is being harvested en masse and transmitted to Rena. If nothing is done about the Great Spirit, it will not be long before all is lost. You're saying the destruction we saw earlier is just the beginning? That... We won't let that happen. Why do you want us to kill the Great Spirit so badly? Is it to save our world? To free you, Helganquil, from under its control? Why? No. My primary concern is validating our findings and analysis, which have taken many years to realize. As such, it is my desire to see how your actions impact and change these systems. However, I will not deny that vengeance also plays a part. Vengeance. Vengeance? For what? In spite of our long service to the Great Spirit, our species is on the brink of extinction. You mean... you're dying? At this stage, it would be wise for you to talk with the others. Ask them what you need to know. Once you have your answer, return to me. If you agree to help, I shall fix your ship. Others? 
Just how many of you are there? I am the only Helganquil who inhabits Dake Faisal. Hey! Hey! It's no use. I think it's done talking to us. Let's take a look around. Well, rip. Guess we don't have much of a choice. <coughs> Find the others. Whatever that you means. You can't seriously be buying anything that creature told us, right? I mean, it's practically blackmailing us into doing its dirty work. To be honest, the conversation went on for so long, I'm not sure I understood all of it. How about you, Dohalim? Were you able to follow it at all? At the very least, everything it said about the Renin Great Spirit adds up. At the end of the day, this whole chain of events comes back to astral energy. That being said, had we not previously encountered the will of Dana, I suspect I would find its story much more difficult to believe. The spirit of Rena wants to see Dana completely destroyed. But why? Astral energy is supposed to be a force that creates and shapes the world. It doesn't matter. I don't care if we're up against an entire world or what its game is. We're not going to let it destroy Dana. Right. There is one other thing that concerns me. How the Great Spirit, the Helganquil, and the Crown Contest are all part of a centuries-long plan is clear enough. But what about the Renans? How do they factor into all this? <sighs> now that you mention it, and all that talk, Hevrek 35 never even brought up the Renans once. And as for the Helganquil, we never did find out just what they are either. Maybe it had a reason for keeping it silence. Or perhaps there's even more going on. Maybe the others will shed more light on the matter. Let's find out. Yes, let's find out. What can we find out, though? Hmm... To the lower level? <coughs> okay, lower level. Looks like we got access to that now. What about the upper level? Oh, the upper level is available too. Okay, I mean, I want to go this way first. I'm kind of curious about this place. The lower level is the one that we have to go to, though. Upper level viewing deck, huh? Oh, geez, so that's pretty far away then. You can barely even see it from here. That's neat, but anyway, okay, so we're not supposed to be here. I don't really understand the point of this room, actually. Mm, okay. Excuse me. Lower level. That's where we're gonna go now. <laughs> so there is a south. Yeah, yeah, I got livestock and reach maturity. That's good. These are Dake Fizzle construction plants showing a central elevator shaft in multiple circular areas. <coughs> hmm. It's kind of neat. This place is definitely pretty neat, I'd say. It's got some crazy designs. Measures astral energy fluctuations in Dana and Rena. I don't suppose we can really tell anything looking at that, can we? Probably not. Okay, well anyway, that's, that's that room, so I guess we're gonna go over here now. Who are these others? That we're looking for. I wonder. Oh, oh, people. Who are they? Hmm. hmm. Who are those people? What is it? Oh, my apologies. It's just been so long since I've seen any humans from the outside world. Are you a Renan? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Hmm? I guess? The Overseer told us to answer any questions you might have. Whatever you want to know, we'll tell you as much as we can. But be quick. Our subjects are undergoing a dramatic shift that we don't want to miss. What a weird guy. He must have meant Hevrecht 35 when he mentioned that Overseer. And what was that about subjects? You don't think he meant Dana and Rena, do you? 
There isn't anyone else we can talk to. I guess we should ask around here. Very true, very true. Three people to talk to, huh? Well, anyway, everyone, I think on the next exciting episode, we'll go ahead and talk to those people. What the heck is going on here? <coughs> and how the heck are we going to get out of the situation exactly? Are they going to be able to help us? I mean, hopefully. I mean, we don't even have control over our ship anymore, so... Hopefully they can help us out, but anyway, everyone, I guess I'll see you later. Let me know what you think about this place, and I'll see you tomorrow. I mean, Rena, Rena and the Dana situation as well. I mean, let me know what you think about that, too. I mean, geez louise. Dana is doomed! It's doomed, I tell you! Doomed! Hello, everyone. You have reached the end of this video. But before we go for the day, i just like to give a big shout-out to the Tier 4 and 5 channel members. Phoenix Edgeworth, Akron X2, Menthi, Meister Papala, and Purple. Thank you so much for being awesome supporting the channel, everyone. If you too would like to get your name shout out at the end of each video and live stream, shout outs are available to all tier 4 and 5 channel members. I hope you all have an awesome day. See ya later!